Hello, beautiful people. Um, happy Wednesday. I think it's one Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Forgive me. Um, I had a long day. I'm just feeling, you know, those days where you feel just kind of in a funk and you don't really know why and nothing really like is motivating you and you just don't really want to do anything. It's kind of how I'm feeling today. Um, I'm trying to stay positive and not let that get me down. Um, I'm making for dinner lasagna soup, which um, I saw the recipe on Pinterest and it looks really good. So that's what I'm going to do now. And I'm going to lean in and I can't talk. I'm going to take you guys through the journey of making this delicious lasagna soup. And yeah, I just thought we could have a share and cook. Share and cook talk and chit chat and again long day I'm also gonna have a glass of wine because it's lasagna soup and red wine just goes with it maybe excuses excuses anyway where is my board with the yummy recipe okay I'll be back when I find it yummy things board and it is right here one pot lasagna soup. It says that you need a Dutch oven, but I was like, screw it. I'm just going to use my regular pot. I don't have a Dutch oven. So, yeah. And look how seriously does that not look so good. I got some butter biscuits too to go with. I need to cut up some onion and then get it in the pot with the beef. So I'll be back. Onion, and I'm also going to where did I? That wasn't dirty. My bad. I'm also going to put all the spices that is supposed to be in the soup in this little dish, so I can just dump it right in. Um. So where's my onion, yo? Honestly, I have so many veggies in my fridge. I don't know what's new, what's old, what's what. It says one um, white onion, but I'm a sweet onion person. It's like the only onion I ever buy unless it's like barbecue type food. I like purple onions. But what I'm going to roll with, the sweet onion. And I don't know how old this is, so I'm just going to cut off the top layer and put that there. But yeah. How's your guys' day so far? Leave in the comments below how 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 you're doing. There's a slight intermission right now. What, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, it was just like a long, long day, guys. And um, I'm happy to be home. Let's just say that. What am I looking for? I'm looking for dried basil. But does anybody else find cooking to be therapeutic? Sometimes I'm like, oh, the last thing I want to do is go home and make dinner. I just want to be lazy. But I was like, Jill, get over yourself and enjoy this new experience. Because I'm making something I haven't made before. So I'm kind of excited about that. And yeah, basil. There you are. And how much basil do I need? One tablespoon of dried basil. That seems like a lot. Seems like a lot, guys. So we're gonna go for it. I'm usually the person to cut corners on every recipe I try, and then I wonder why it didn't turn out better. And I'm like, oh, it's probably because I didn't listen to the recipe. So we're just gonna do that. We're just gonna listen. Dried parsley. Pretty sure, yeah, I'm out of that. Pretty sure it's spilled all in my cabinet. Dried oregano. Right here, and how much dried oregano? A teaspoon. What else? One whole bay leaf. Do not forget that, you guys. Where are my bay leaves at? Where are my bay leaves at? They're right here. What do you guys, that's what I should ask, what do you guys like to do as a stress reliever to get over just a bad day or to get you out of a funk? I'd really like to know. Let me know. Right now I'm feeling somewhat good. And I thought you it's also, I didn't really eat lunch today, so maybe that's why I'm not in the greatest of spirits right now. Okay, I'll be back when this gets more interesting. I'm back. So I have everything 
prepared. So I have one pound, it calls for one pound of ground beef and doo -doo -doo -doo. heat in a large Dutch oven over medium heat. Don't have a Dutch oven, I'm using this. So probably turn the medium heat on. Add beef and onion and cook. I'm gonna add the beef, the onion, and the spices because this is what I feel like doing. Um, I need to open this. So, I'm just going to be browning this bad boy up. I'm so excited to eat this, you guys. So, excite. Get in there, you. And I don't even know if this is one pound. I always guesstimate. Like, I'm sure, does it say? 513 grams. How many grams in a pound, babe? I'm not... Stupid. I just don't care enough to remember that kind of stuff. I then have some onion. It says one whole white onion, and this is like almost a whole sweet onion. And that's what I'm going with. I'm just, just gonna do that. And I'll brown that all up a bit. Will I add the dry spices? I don't know. Okay, so. And then after you cook all this stuff together, you add garlic and red pepper flakes and saute for 30 seconds. Well, that's a bummer because I added the garlic and the red pepper flakes to all the other spices, so that's just what's going to happen. And then it calls for one can or one jar of prego sauce, which I think is a hilarious word. Anyway, I got the classico kind, and it's just a tomato and basil sauce, and I thought that sounded good. I couldn't find... They had Prego, but I couldn't find one that was like this size. I didn't even, even check what size I actually needed. Let's see. 24 ounce. 24 ounce jar. How do you know how many ounces this is? It's 650 mils. Can you see what 24 ounces is to in milliliters, babe? Pretty please with the cherry on top. Either way, I think this will be good. No worries. 24 ounces, how many milliliters is that? Okay, I have 650. So it's 709 and I have 650 mils. I don't think that's a big deal because we have chicken broth and everything. So I still think this is gonna be delish. Just brown up that stuff. What does it say after? Then after it's all browned and you drain off the fat or whatever, and I'm just kidding. <laughs> The cooked onion is hurting my eyeballs. You know, love it when that happens. Anyway, so after that, it says add the prego sauce. I'm using Classico. Six cups of chicken broth, can of crushed tomatoes, two tablespoons of tomato paste, and the crushed tomatoes. You know what? Instead of just telling you guys, I'm just going to link the recipe down below because wouldn't that be better? Anyway, yeah. And then I need the tomato paste some balsamic vinegar, some white granulated sugar, the spices, and the lasagna noodles. Bring to a boil, then reduce to a simmer until the lasagna noodles are tender. Stir in occasionally. So it takes approximately 20 to 30 minutes for the soup to be finished. And then it said after that, discard the bay leaf and stir in some heavy cream, which is optional. You could also do... Um, Mix some cornstarch with some of the chicken broth to thicken it up a bit if you wish. And then you add the remaining two to four cups of chicken broth to reach your desired consistency. I kind of, since this is a lasagna soup, I kind of want it to be a bit thicker, almost like a stew. I'm not a huge fan of really liquidy soups. I need some sustenance. What's the word? Sustenance? Su sub do you know that word? Is it sustenance? Yeah, he thinks it is. Anyway, I don't want to sound like an idiot. I just like there to be more food than just, I don't just want to like eat liquid for dinner. So, and I know he feels the same way. So, yeah. So I'm just browning this up. It smells good, like onion and beef. Mm -mm -mm. And I should probably show you the beans that I got. Did I just say beans? I meant the biscuits. What am I saying? So we got some white butter crust buns, and these are really, really yummy. So I think I'm just going to heat them up in the oven. And here's some meat. 
in. Just gonna still brown this up. And then we got all the spices and we got our bay leaf and the garlic and everything. And then this is the sugar. I don't know why I didn't put the sugar in here. I don't know. And then some balsamic vinegar. I was running out of wet measures. <laughs> and then just some of this stuff and my wine because yeah. And I also have to do this. There's dishes in the dishwasher. They are clean so I'm going to empty that after dinner reload it and then hand wash whatever is left over our kitchen is so dang small you guys it's really not that bad this isn't really gross this is a couple <laughs> i don't know what your definition of gross is we got an old cheese bag old coffee pop cans whatever this is real life in real life okay, so i just drained off the fat and now i'm going to add all those spices i told you guys about and the well, garlic powder and try and get it all out of there and there's red pepper flakes and all that good stuff so after this stuff is added what does it say oh, bah, bah, bah. it says saute for 30 seconds and then you add the prego sauce six cups of chicken broth the crushed tomatoes i should probably start opening them I'm so excited to eat this. Yum, yum, yum. I think I tried to make lasagna like once and um, it wasn't awful, but it was just super, super greasy because like all the cheese on top. And I just want to be able to make a lasagna that isn't crazy like oily from all the cheese. If you have any tips or suggestions or know a really, really good lasagna recipe, please let me know. Because I would love to see it and love to try it out. Add the sauce. Crushed tomatoes, tomato paste, balsamic vinegar. And these are, what did I get? I got chunky stewed tomatoes. So that's what I bought. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Then I'm gonna add this delicious looking sass. I should save that. That would make a cute little DIY. I'm gonna do that. A nice jar for crafts. And I'm taking a page from Martha Stewart's book. I love that woman. Have you ever seen her cooking shows that she has like guest stars on it and they make stuff? I've seen her so many times. People are like pouring the ingredients in and they like put the thing down. And she's like, no, 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 no. We are in a recession right now. Don't be wasteful. And she like grabs a spatula and gets every last ounce out. God, I love that woman. I would love to meet Martha Stewart and do crafts with her and just cook with her. I think she would be just fun. Fun lady. Now I should probably stir that up a bit because it's bubbling away. Stewed tomatoes look beautiful. This smells so good. So what else am I adding? Pay attention. Two tablespoons of tomato paste. I hate that too. Like recipes that call for that. I wish you could get like a resealable jar of tomato paste or something because this is way more than two tablespoons. I'll just cover it up and hopefully I'll make something that I'm going to use the tomato paste for. But. And I don't have a tablespoon so I'm just going to, it's dirty, so I'm just going to guesstimate. And I think that it, it wants the balsamic vinegar. Stir that up. Sugar. Is some bay leaf in there? Must be. So I think I added everything and now I just need to add the chicken broth and then I'll give you guys a good look-see at this. Okay, so I added the six cups of um, chicken broth and then it just has all the meat and everything in there and I think this is pretty darn liquidy so depending on how much moisture the noodles soak up, I probably won't add the extra like two cups that they tell you you can add. I might add the cream to it though. I'll see how I feel. I kind of like creamy soups, but don't know if my man would like that. Looks so good. I can't wait to eat it. Okay, so it tells you to add the noodles and then bring the soup to a boil. So I thought you add it when the soup's at a boil, but that's not what the recipe says. So I just got Catelli gluten-free. Um, I like to have the gluten-free. I'm not like, I, I'm not allergic to gluten, I don't think, but... I would rather eat this because my belly doesn't feel as gross after eating pasta. 
And yeah, so it says 10 pieces of lasagna noodles and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So what do you know? I'll add ten of those and then yeah, I don't really know if there's a rhyme or a reason or a way to do this, but I'm just jamming them in and I'll bring it to a boil and see the consistency of the soup. And then um, it also says garnish it with cheese. And the cheese that I got is, it's just our grocery store brand cheese, but it's, um, what did it say? Provolone, pizza, mozzarella, Parmesan, and Gouda cheeses. It just sounds so good. So I think that's gonna be really yummy. And I think I'll put some buns I'm going to put some buns in the oven. It's so funny. I'll put some buns in the oven and warm those up so they'll just be ready to grab when we're ready to eat. This was pretty quick. Like once it's all said and done, I think it would be like not even 45 minutes. So, so yeah, I'll just let those noodles do their thing. And I don't know where the bay leaf went because it tells you to discard the bay leaf, but I'm sure we'll find it before we eat it. Okay, so the soup is boiling away, and as you can see, got like the lasagna noodles in there. They're still hard, and they still need to be cooked. But I'm thinking I like the thickness that it's getting, so I'm excited about that. And I think I do want to add the cream. I like creamy, tomato-y type things, and it's not going to make it super, super creamy, I don't think, because how much are they asking? Jeez Louise. Does that happen to anybody where you're like on Pinterest and you leave it to go look at something else and you don't like exit Pinterest, but it exits the thing that you're just looking at? I find that bothersome sometimes. It's not a huge deal though. Not a huge deal. Stir in heavy cream, optional, and two to four cups of broth. I'm going to stir in the heavy cream, and then, yeah, you garnish with desired amount of cheeses. So how much cream are they asking for? Half a cup. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, so I'll just do the half a cup of cream. I haven't even tasted the soup yet. Normally I taste things, but I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. I didn't turn the fan on because it's steaming up. Okay, so I added the cream and I think the noodles are all cooked. It's looking real, real good. And I did end up tasting it and it tastes really yummy. So I'm super excited. Um, I think it's going to be really good with some cheese on top. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, that it's done. So we're going to plate up and I'll show you how good it is and or how good it is. I'll show you how good it looks and I will take a bite and also explain to you how good I think it is. And yeah, I'll be back. Uh, okay, this is how it looks. I think it looks so, so yummy. And then I'm taking my cheese mix and I love cheese. So sorry if this grosses you out, but I'm having a ton of it. I think that's good. Anyway, and then we got these buns here. And you could have them with butter. I think I have butter in the cupboard, but I think because the soup is going to be so flavorful, I'm just going to have it like that. And let's experience the first bite today. Okay. Now it's cooking. I'm going to blow on it. Okay, let's try and get a noodle and all this stuff up in here. And there is some cheese. How's it going to taste? I'm always the one to burn myself, so I really want to be careful. Oh, that just warms my heart. It warms my heart and my soul so good so I hope you guys enjoyed this um, chit chat cook with me 
listen to me rant video and I'm gonna link the recipe down below so if you try it let me know how you like it and again if you have any lasagna recipes that you think are super good please share them with me because I would love to try them so yeah I'm really excited to eat this I'm gonna go now and I will talk to you guys later